her comeback is going to work. But it's going to be by your design this time around, not by somebody else's. Damn, you got them right where you want them, Gemini. And you've been, you've been working this in the dark and in the quiet for a while. Ooh, cross watchers. You're going to have a field day with this one. Welcome, my beautiful Gemini souls, to your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. We begin here. This is our fake it till you make it card. This is a blend in and don't let anybody see that you're there. Fly on the wall, just want to take in information. This is actually a really good stance to have if you're watching this video as we um, as it's just uploaded. This is a Mercury retrograde. So this is a really good stance for especially Gemini's to have right now. But there could also be a deeper meaning of why don't you want attention brought to yourself or exactly what do you want to be listening in on. This could also be somebody in your presence who is not being completely on the up and up with you. Gemini, this is a reading for... Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, it, it's, it's an energy reading, so you call it into you. Um, this will resonate with you where and how it resonates in your life. It's, it's your message, and the only reason it's coming to you is because you call it into you. That's how you find it. Now, that being said, I do make a new video every single week. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and then ring the notification bell and select all notifications so that you can watch this video as all the new videos as soon as they come up. And then Gemini, if you're looking for personal readings, I do do those. I actually have open availability very soon. So go check out my website and you can sign up. Whatever is right for you. Nothing else is coming out right now. That's interesting. Not sure why. Just leave that there. Okay, Gemini, let's clear the energy. This is interesting because <laughs> what this seems like is somebody is playing coy, that somebody is intentionally, or maybe not coy, it's almost like the energy of a person who is <sighs> wanting to share love, but still holding back, not quite sure yet maybe still wants to feel out the space. So we have love is all around and this is Gemini energy. So it is flattering. It is, it is communicative. It is speaking. So hearing things that are lovely to hear or saying things and being inspired to be inspired to be very complimentary or, or even hearing getting a lot of compliments this week. But then there's this energy of, I'm going to act as if I didn't hear that. Not to ignore it, but it seems like I don't want to get a big head. I don't want to get too excited about this. 
And I don't feel like yet, I don't, I don't have any cards that imply that this is self-denial or lack of self-esteem. Though feel free to share if that's what you're experiencing. But this feels like I just don't want to get ahead of myself. I want, I want to pace this situation. But there is an underlying sense of excitement and happiness. There's just a sense of I don't want to get ahead of myself. Okay. Because everything seems really well. But I want to go, do, 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 do. let me just... Let me just chill out for a second. Then we have take time out, which is healing energy. It's protective energy. Think mama bear. Take time out. Love is all around. Act as if you are manifesting something, Gemini. You're manifesting the energy that you want around you or even a person that you want to call into your life. This sense of, I'm going to back away from anything that isn't part of my intent right now. So there's a lot of focus going on. Clear out the clutter is also getting rid of what does not serve you. And you can start doing this physically. Whenever this card comes up, it feels like you have been giving away old clothes, clearing out space, having those tag sales, or just just letting those old feelings or emotions go. It's like, I'm done with that. And maybe I want to take a little break from it, separate myself from it. And then just really wrap myself in being happy and filled with joy or around things that I'm excited about. And it's like, I'm going to act as if I already have something. Okay, and that's where we are now because this was maybe something that you just started or it was leading up to this situation. And then we have dream the world into being. You are manifesting. You are welcoming this in. And then it's almost like you know you have been taking actions to make this happen, but you're acting like, oh, nothing's happening. No, I didn't do that. So there is a little coyness. There is a little, is it deception? Yes, but it's more playful than it is malefic or manipulative. Let's go into the cards to see why. Why is this coming out? We have the eclipse. So this is, I've got to walk away from something. I just don't want to be around things that don't fulfill me anymore. And I'm, I'm done with something. I don't want to put any effort into something. So there's just this sense that I'm, I'm not. I know what serves me and what doesn't. Or you recently ended something, walked away from something. It, it didn't happen. It didn't come to pass. Or there was an unfulfilling ending to something that you had worked for. But then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So interesting how once we get away from what doesn't suit us and admit what is no longer fulfilling, how there's opportunities that come on the wake of that. Ace of Pentacles is here saying there's an opportunity that's going to be offered to you this week. But what is this all about? Queen of Wands, somebody who you find very attractive or um, somebody who finds you very attractive. It's also about confidence in your ability to create your world, create your space, an opportunity to be creative or take creative freedom into your own hands and divine your own way forward. Queen of Wands could be a person that is offering themselves to you. Okay. Still a little confusing. So what is Gemini supposed to do? You are waiting for somebody to come to you. Hoping that the breadcrumbs that you've left will inspire them to make the first move or make the offer. So it's like make them want it without them knowing that you've had a hand in making them want it or somebody is doing this to you. But there is definitely like 
Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. That usually doesn't come out that way in my cards either. It doesn't mean bad luck. It means something is happening to you. This this is like you didn't have you didn't have a role in where you are right now. There there is this energy of you have been led where you are by fate, by destiny, like I said, by breadcrumbs, somebody else pulling the strings. And since this is Major Arcana, it almost feels like, how did I get here? I am where I'm supposed to be, but I didn't have much of a hand in making this selection. Somebody did, somebody chose, or, or making somebody feel as if they're making this choice. What? What? So why does Gemini need to know this? Ace of Swords and Seven of Pentacles, because you're about to get everything that you fought really hard for. Something's about to become very clear to you. It's There's clarity here in the direction or the steps you need to move moving forward. Somebody is depending on your work or your ability to take charge of this situation. It's about to come out. Somebody has wanted your attention and has certainly been doing everything that they can to get your attention. Ace of Wands. It is... It is sensual and sexy. It is hot and inspired. Like there's just definitely somebody or some situation makes makes you want is is making you feel like this is it. And this is it. This is this is the new opportunity. This is this is a genuine ability to like break through and 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 get and get after what it is that you really really desire but there seems to have been somebody put that desire in you or you put that desire in somebody else and what you fought for you're about to receive you're about to, it's about it's coming to you so how is that even okay <laughs> okay then we have the death card Okay. Scorpio energy. King of Swords and Queen of Pentacles. This would imply that there's an ending to a circumstance between you and an earth sign. Okay. What do you mean? Prosperity lies ahead, Taurus energy. You're rising up. You're making a comeback. But it's a quiet one. It's one where you're like, nope, I'm not getting their attention. They're going to come to me. Because there was too much fucking around beforehand. There was too much um, subterfuge and, and stupid shit. And there was also stuff that you're just like, I'm done with that crap. Something isn't fulfilling to, it, it, something isn't fulfilling to me anymore. Maybe even the playing these games or having to manipulate. This is not fulfilling to me anymore. And so this time around, they can get my attention. And they're, they're, they're going to want to see me. They're going to want to know. This is, I am going to make a debut without making an announcement. And they're going to want to look. They're, they're going to want, make them want me. Make them want it. And prosperity lies ahead. This is a beautiful comeback for you. 
a resurrection, Gemini, of your capabilities, of your star power, or your ability to attract. And honestly, it's going to work. That's 100%, no doubt. This is, this is going to work, but you're doing it softly. You're doing it subtle. We have Pisces energy underneath the surface. This could be like subtle publicity. Getting the word out, not through big announcements, but through whispers. Which is what's drawing people in. Because it's something that you didn't want to be blatant about. You wanted to hint and make people curious about it. Piscean energy. This is, you definitely wanted there to be a mystery about it. And not, not have everybody know. Or there's a mystery that you don't know. You, it's just you do. You know something that you want to keep quiet. What is this? Scorpio energy, that you're about to make a triumphant return. Scorpio energy is, is death card is coming here twice. So you you may be dealing with a Scorpio. Let me say this. If you are dealing with a Scorpio, I would be very, very careful because they have been plotting something subvertedly for a, a long time. And now they're trying to see if it will take, take root. And so if you have been feeling that something's been rumbling beneath the surface, look beneath the surface because it's absolutely going on. There's some sort of victory for this Scorpio or victorious resurrection that is being plotted or what you are plotting underneath the surface for your comeback is going to work. But it's going to be by your design this time around, not by somebody else's. Damn, you got them right where you want them, Gemini. And you've been, you've been working this in the dark and in the quiet for a while. Ooh, cross watchers. You're going to have a field day with this one. Serendipity. It's just divine crossroads and truth be told. You can't wait to let this out, to let everybody see, or the truth finally comes out in a serendipity. It was leading up to it. All the steps in your life from not too long ago have been leading up to this moment to be seen truthfully and honestly. And that's why I'm not getting a huge malefic energy. There's this energy of, I deserve this triumph. I deserve this victory, but nobody was going to let me have it, have it unless I went tiptoed in silence. Because I would have been tried to be stopped. People would have tried to stop me all along the way. And so, Gemini, you decided to tiptoe and, and pl plot your victory in silence. You never, you, you ever heard that, like, if, like, don't tell, don't talk about people, don't talk to people about your plans. Just execute them. And they'll, they'll see it soon enough. And that's exactly what some you've been doing or somebody's been doing. And this is like perfect way to do this, my friends. Because honestly, and that's the truth be told, this is really what was truthfully meant for you. This is what is really yours. And this had to come out eventually. And it's ready to come out now. Let's go to the extended. The links are down below, or you can just join the BWOB membership and then not have to leave YouTube. I'll see you guys there.